What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So, after leaving Lawson's house the other day, I went and fished Lake Walk In Water. Full moon day, I thought it was going to be really good and I thought the fish were going to be moving up shallow, but didn't see a single fish. I had one bite and I'm not going to bore you guys with another fishless video. A couple cool things did happen though, which I'll show you right here. That was pretty sick. Might be a little pulling out of the chatter day. Oh my freaking god, that was a monstrous gator. Giant gator and that osprey just dive bombing right in front of me was so sick. But today I'm going to be fishing in a local lake here in Orlando. So I'm picking my buddy Billy Bates up from Orlando airport right now. And then we're going to go look for some bed fish and fish that are moving up shallow. He's going to be fishing with me for the next four days. He flew down. I invited all my boys from back home, like whoever wanted to come down, uh, could come down and fish with me. And luckily Billy was able to. So we're going to be hitting some Florida lakes. Not exactly sure what the plan is, but a lot of good stuff coming this week. Shepherd. He's rigging up at the airport. <laughs> Billy Bates! Florida. Dude, you literally rigged up here. That's awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. Ready to rock. I dude. love it. A little bit windy out here today. Oh yeah. On the lake. All right. All right, you guys, before we get fishing today, I want to let you know this video is brought to you and sponsored by Top Fishing Deals. Top Fishing Deals is an online site where you can find all of the best possible deals online. They have a ton of different brands and it's updated daily. So if you hop on there, it's pretty much like the slick deals of fishing, as I've said a hundred times. But awesome website. Make sure you click that link below, topfishingdeals.com. Go check them out. And thanks for sponsoring this video. All right. Water temp 67.5. Water looks pretty clean, not too much grass. We have some of this shoreline standing grass. Um, and we're gonna work down into these canals and look for some bedding fish and fish that are just shallow. I'm gonna pick up a chatterbait and throw that around. Probably flip a Texas rig with a bandito bug. Billy, what are you throwing? Uh, chatterbait, I'm gonna do some flipping. And that's what I, that's all I got so far. Solid. Mm -hmm. When I picked him up this morning, he was literally waiting for me to come get him and he was rigging up all of his rods at the airport. Just awesome. I'm also feeling a really big fish coming on. Billy has the big fish mojo right now because he just caught a nine and a half. And the same day, our buddy Matt McCluskey caught a ten and a half. So hopefully we can find one of those. Got a little bluegill pattern chatterbait with the 3.3 South Sea Swimmer on the back. This is kind of the hard thing about fishing in Florida is that so many lakes are so different. I feel like I should be throwing this on fluoro. But I pretty much yeah, rigged all my reels up with braid. It's pretty so basically the plan is just to move in and out of these canals pretty quick throwing moving baits until we see some fish shallow that we can target with plastics. I think it's gonna work. Look at all the fry. So much fry. Damn, is that another boat back there? Is that, are they on a dock? Let's go to the next one over. I don't wanna fish behind them. Good water temp though. 67 and a half back here. I'll take that. Seeing a lot of beds floating around. I think I just saw a fish, a good fish on a bed. So I'm gonna try flipping a bandito bug around for a little bit. All right, I just rigged a couple different things up. Put a swim jig on with some 15 pound fluoro and I put a little flickety split from Catchco on with a Guggenbaits lunker log. I'm gonna try throwing this around for a little bit. Billy just got bit on a chatterbait. I kind of think that the braid might not be the best move in here, which is why I had to switch. You see one? Huh? Three or four, yeah. Sick. Oh! Yeah. Uh, swim jig under the dock. First fish of the day. Bingo. Oh yeah. Take it. Probably pound and a half. Sweet. Oh, he's been caught before too. Look at the roof of his mouth. I had him hooked on the side. Not a bad fish. Under the dock. See ya. Coogan Squad swim jig with a saucy swimmer on the back. This is a 3-3 electric shad. Just trying to give it a, even though it's an electric shad color, uh, bluegill presentation. 
sick little swim jig. I'm gonna leave this link down in the description below. You can grab this over at Shop Carl's. Let's get some more. 36, it's been a while. So since I just had a fish blow up on that swim jig on the surface, I'm gonna try throwing this frog around. This is a jackal, Iobi. It's like my favorite frog in the world. Super soft. Now we just need to get him to eat. Yeah, there's a ton of bait back here. Oh, froggy. Yeah. That was like fourth cast. Oh, I got him good. I got him with the double double. <clears throat> well, we're looking for him about 10 times this size, but fish is a fish. And frogfish. Middle of the day. He's like a pound. Little guy. So fun. <clears throat> oh. Second cast. Weightless. Oh god, I thought the thing flew off. Weightless lunker log. <laughs> Chill, buddy. Dude, I was watching my line and it just goes whoop. Just took off. Smallest fish of the day. Number three. Uh, June bug, June bug lunker log. I literally just tied this on weightless uh, Texas rig lunker log instead of the um, flickety split with the weighted head. That hook is exposed and there's so much grass in here. It's pretty annoying to fish. I think this is gonna be money. Yeah. Clean water, shallow water, grass. Oh, there's a good bass right there, dude. That's over five. Bet. See how long he oh, is? Yeah. Good fish. Just cruising though. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's kind of strange. Oh, another little decent one right there. I think. Forgot to add the last one to the clicker. Nice. Oh, yeah. There it is. Sanko, take it, bud. Sanko is the move. Billy Bates' first fish of the trip. Float a bass. Float a bass. Oh, nice catch. Oh, wow. No, decent one, but two of them right next to each other. And they're like rubbing up against each other. That was cool. We came to the other side of the lake to try outside of the canals and look for any beds and shallow fish. Not a sign, nothing. Uh, the water temperature is four degrees colder over here. That's probably why. But we're gonna run back into the canals and hopefully run into a big mama. That's why we're down here, looking for the bigs. I do feel like most of the beds we've been seeing are like the back half of the canal. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Oh yeah. Number two. I think you're right. It's that long cast because there's clear water. They're obviously shallow. We're spooking so many. That was so sick. Froggy. Very nice. Just walking it so slow. What's up, pup? Sweet. The little guy, little male. Where is your girlfriend? Nice. <laughs> that was sick. Hell yeah. Number three? Yeah. Killing it. I think that's the male. Let's see if I can get the female now. I had something trailing my frog a couple casts ago that looked, I just saw a big brown head behind it. Yeeted him. I think this is the smallest fish I've caught the whole trip. Young Franklin here. See ya. But he counts. 
Number 40. Nice. Boom. I don't even know what to think of that as a sign that there's a bunch of bluegill around it because that's the number one thing that they're fighting off. Right. right. If they were there, or anywhere near there. <clears throat> So it makes me think some of those beds have no eggs on them or they, they either already spawned or they just built it. All right, day's coming to an end. We are gonna try to finish it off strong. Moved across from the canals. Just gonna fish our way back towards the rail. Right on that drop. Right on this point right here, this like kind of grass point. He was in like eight or nine feet of water. Yeah. Sweet. There we go. First fish outside the canal. Too much. Oh, nice. Is that a good, dude, that looks like a good fish. Oh, he just oh. dogged you. Dude, how did? That looked massive. How did he have Did a bigger fish just spit him out? Like that. Insane. <clears throat> That's awesome. Dude, I, thought that I thought that was the one too. And it was like a pound and a half fish. <clears throat> nice catch. Dude, finishing it off strong tonight. I'm loving it. So yesterday after Billy and I got off the water, came back here to where I stayed the night before actually and parked the boat, charged the batteries up, went and got some Rocco's tacos and tequila bar. And we woke up bright and early, and we're going to be getting after it again today. Yesterday was actually pretty good. We caught 14, 15 fish. Nothing big, but we did see one or two fish that were decent. So we're going to stick around the Orlando area again. We were thinking about going south, but we stayed here. We're going to fish here again all day, and then we're going south tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. We'll see you on the next one.